Hello and welcome back to part 2 of surface modelling in Fusion. In this second video, you're going to be learning trim, split bodies, offsets and also more complex lofts. So first of all, we're going to add some design details to our model. So I've gone into the bodies here and I've just renamed these and I've just called this one 1 because it's going to be the first component. And then I've just renamed these like LH for left hand and RH for right hand. So I know where these edge gaps are. So I'm just going to close this down now. And what we're going to do first is draw a sketch. So I'm going to click the sketch up here. And I'm going to click on this surface here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just click on these lines here. And I'm going to draw a construction line. And this is going to be 150 millimeters. So I'm going to write in here 150 and it's at 90 degrees. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now this line, I want this just to be a construction line. So I'm going to click on the line and then I'm going to click on construction. And I'm just going to keep these sketches simple. I keep this tutorial more about learning surface modeling than sketching because I don't want to make these sketches too complicated so we can get more involved with surface modeling techniques in this tutorial. So I click the line tool again and I'm going to do this one at 150 as well. And then coming off here at a 90 degree angle. And then I hit enter. So I'm just tidying up these lines here and I'm going to do another line. And this time coming off at an angle. I'm going to do 150 on this one to keep it simple. And then I hit tab on my keyboard. And I'm also going to make this one 150 as well. So once that's done, I'm going to hit enter. And then I put a fillet on this as well. Now, this bit's a bit confusing here because it's actually built its own construction line. So you can see here, we need to click on the actual line, which is the constant line. And you can see here underneath with the dotted line, that's actually a construction line. So we want to click the actual line and then we're going to click on this and make the fillet 100 millimeters. And you'll find with surface modeling, using things like filleted edges, the program just likes that more because it finds it easier to build smooth curves. So I'm going to fill it these edges and then we're going to do a mirror here. And we're going to mirror that to the other side as well. So again, it's important we click on the actual line. And then we mirror this across this line. And we press on OK. So now you can see we've got this simple sketch and I'm going to finish that. I'm going to come up here and click on the surfacing tab. And we're basically going to cut out these pieces to add a design detail. So there's a few different ways we can do that. Let me show you two ways to do that first. If I go to create, then I click on extrude and then click on these two lines. I could actually extrude this out and then trim this back down again. So I'm going to click on symmetrical in here. Now, one thing you would always want to do with surface modeling is a thing called overbuilding, which is something that you don't really do in solid modeling. And overbuilding means when you go really far through a piece to make sure you're definitely crossing through it. Because if I do something like this, then you know, some edges here or like here, for example, they don't stick out the edge and then I'm going to miss cutting them. So it's always more convenient to go all the way through. So, you know, you've definitely got it. But now I want to show you another way. So I'm going to actually cancel this. And then if I press modify here, I can press on split body. And I can actually use these two lines to split it without having to build extra pieces. So I've got the split body here and the body to split is actually the whole spoiler. And the splitting tool that we want to use is the line. So you can see now we've got these lines. Now it's only taken one. So we want to click on it so that we have both sides and that's going to do the overbuilding. So you can see with this red, it's actually cutting all the way through now. Now, if I click on this tick, it's only going to go as far as we need it to go through. So we want to do that and then we want to click on OK. Now, if we go to our bodies here, you can see that it's actually split these into two pieces. And what we want to do is we want to click on this piece and then hide it. And now you can see that we've actually cut through this and we've got more design detail to this spoiler. Then we come up here and press on patch and click the lines. And you can see now that this closes this up. I click on OK. And we've got a new shape here cut out of our model. So this has actually come in with the yellow side facing out. 
So we want to go to modify and then we want to press reverse normal. So we've got the gray on the outside. And now I want to show you something a bit more complicated. If I draw on the top here, I just want to start a sketch and I want to click on this plane here. And I'm going to draw again something very simple. So I'm going to start with a line and I'm just going to draw from the center point. And this time we're going to do say 100. And then we're going to come across diagonally like this for another 100. And the angle, let's just keep that at 50. So you want to come out by 50 here. And then I'm just going to hit escape just to tidy up these lines so I can see where I am. And then I'm going to draw a center line coming down. So this can be slightly over. It's okay. And what we want to do is we want to do 120, then click on this line so that we've built a center line. And then we just want to connect this back up from the point over to this point. And then we press escape to get rid of the line tool. And just add some fillets onto these edges. So 20? Yeah, 20 millimeter fillets looks good. And then we hit enter. And I'm just going to click on the mirror and I'm going to mirror this whole thing across. So objects to fill. So we've got to click these five here and then the mirror line. We just want to use this center line here. Yeah. So sometimes in surface modeling, it's actually good to draw half your part and then you can mirror it all at the end. So I've really in this tutorial been drawing the whole part. But if you're finding things difficult to get really symmetrical, then you can always draw half the model and mirror it across. Then I finish the sketch. So now we've got this, what we want to do is cut it out. So we're going to use the same technique again. And I'm going to click on modify. And then I'm going to use the split bodies feature. And I'll split this spoiler again. And the splitting tool that I'm going to use is this sketch here. And I'm going to make sure that I click on both parts. And then you'll see that this is going to cut it out. And it actually cuts out the underneath part as well. But that's okay because we're going to stitch it all back together again. So now you can see from this piece, if I click on this piece and I press create and then I do an offset. I'm actually making a copy of this part. And this is something different to solid modeling. It's quite important that we use the pieces we've already built because this has come out as quite a complex shape. It's moving in all four directions. So it'd be very hard to draw something from scratch and actually match what we've already drawn. So that's why it's important to copy your pieces and duplicate them. So I'm just going to lift this up by 10 millimeters and then press on OK. And I'm going to hide this one underneath. So now you can see we've got this surface sticking out. And what we want to do now is split this in half. So I'm going to draw a line here on this plane and I'm just going to add that to the center point. And then I'm going to come all the way up here and then draw this all the way through. And then press on escape. And finish the sketch. Now we want to split both of these parts. So I'm going to do the same thing again. And I'm going to split the body. I'm going to split this one and also this one. And the splitting tool I'm going to use is this one. So that cuts through both parts and I'm going to press on OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on this one and I'm going to hide it. So we can see where we are and you'll see why I'm doing this because what we actually want to do is we want to come over here and click on create sketch and then we click on this plane here. And we're going to create a curve like what we've learned previously in the lofting tutorial. I'm actually going to project these two pieces. So we've got something on our model to project off. So I just want to choose this point here. And also this bottom point here. And once I've got that, I'm going to click on OK. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute, because if I go to the right here, and I've got these two points on the model. I'm going to use a fit point spline and I'm going to click on that. And then I can lock this in at these purple points. 
So I'm just going to draw roughly halfway round. And then I'm going to draw on this edge here. And then I hit enter. And I'm just going to adjust this around a little bit just to make it a bit smoother. And then I'm going to finish my sketch here. So now we've got this, I want to show you a more complex loft. And surface modelling is really about just cutting pieces out and really stitching them back together in the shapes that you want them to be in. So we're going to use these guide rails to guide the shape of the design that we want. So now we've got our profiles here. I'm just going to close it off and I'm going to choose this one. And then this one. And you can see that this is showing what I'm going to build as I'm doing it. And it's good to do this in order, just so the program can work it out, because you can see how it's trying to work it out as we go around. And it's just coming up with these funny shapes. But as we go around the model, selecting each one, you can see that it's slowly building the surface and the program's working out how to do it. And that's fine, what we've got here. You can see that it's connecting these shapes, but it's just taking the nearest point. It doesn't really know which shape you want it to be. And that's why we're going to use these rails. So I'm going to click this plus here, and I'm actually going to use this rail. And now you can see it's added a bit of shape to it. And you can use this to choose the kind of shapes that you like. For example, if you didn't want this one coming around here, you could add another line in and connect it up at different points and really have full control over how the shape looks. But for this one, we're just going to keep it simple like this. And we're going to press on OK. So we've got that and I'm just going to reshow these again. So now we can see our whole model. And what I'm going to do now is click on Create, click on Mirror. And I'm actually going to mirror from this side and the mirror plane is going to be this plane here. And then I press on OK. Join me in part three where we're going to be finishing off our spoiler.